Yes and no. Each word, one syllable decision. Think of the impact. When I was young, people told me, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. And I took this to heart. I got involved with my local community. I joined swim team, band, cross country, all kinds of other organizations, hoping to broaden my horizons. And I did. I had a great time. I learned quite a lot. I learned to say yes frequently to new opportunities. This was a great strategy for me while I was in middle school and high school. I had a structured environment, supportive friends and family, and I couldn't really see anything going horribly wrong. Most extracurricular groups met for two hours after school, and other time was left open. I was really busy, but I often received praise for being so busy. And I learned that saying yes often was really, really cool. Unfortunately, this approach broke down during my time at Harvard. I was suddenly surrounded by amazing people with brilliant ideas, and I had much more freedom to schedule my own time. So naturally, I overcommitted myself. At some point, I was spending about eight hours a day, maybe more, on various extracurricular commitments. I didn't leave myself much time for important things like schoolwork or sleep. Little secret for you. You'll be much happier and much more productive if you get your sleep. So clearly I'd made some kind of mistake. I said yes too frequently. I signed up for all of these different organizations. Each organization had a busy schedule of events, and I wanted to be involved with everything. So I filled up my schedule, and then I made myself available at even more hours, and I agreed to help out with big projects. Soon, I was really overwhelmed. I knew that it was a mistake, but I slept right through several wake-up calls. Some literal, some not so literal. Um, it was a low point for me. It was tough. But from this came a really great learning experience. Being totally overwhelmed taught me something important. And with a little bit of prodding from my advisors, I realized that I needed to start saying no occasionally. So I arrived at a simple principle. Saying yes embraces new opportunity. Saying no permits focus. So saying no is one of the most difficult things that I've ever struggled with. And I know that many people struggle with saying no. It can be uncomfortable for different reasons, but it is one of the most important skills that we ever learn. When we say no to another person, to a new friendship or a job offer or an invitation, even an idea, we might feel like we're disappointing another person or admitting our own failure. Not necessarily, but it can feel that way. And that is what makes it so difficult. It's essential to say no, at least some of the time, so that we protect our own time to say yes to those things that are really important to us. And saying yes is difficult for other reasons as well. We might fear adversity. We might worry about the incredible opportunity cost of every new commitment. So think of it this way. At any moment, there are millions of things that you could be doing with your time. There are books you could read, apps you could download. You could go online and talk with people around the world, millions, billions of people. And every time that we say yes to one activity, we are saying no to everything else that we could be doing with our time. Still, we move forward, we specialize, we recognize our own limitations. There are some things that we can do and some things that we'll never have time for. We have to recognize we can do anything. We just can't do everything. So yes and no are these ideas that we learn when we're young and reevaluate throughout our lives. It's difficult to balance sometimes. But with a little bit of experience, I'm sure that the brilliant crowd ahead of me bright, talented young minds, you'll come to your own sense of balance as well. You'll figure out what you need to do. When an idea speaks to you, 
You have a vision of the future. Follow it forward and close out distractions. Say yes to those things that are really important and say no to everything that will detract from your ability to succeed. Proceed, be bold, and keep your feet on the ground. Thank you.